<laughs> Happy Tuesday. I hope you had a wonderful long three day weekend if you're here in the States. Happy belated Labor Day to you. I wanted to jump on because I just finished with the yoga club this morning. And it's always such a joy to see my yogi friends early in the morning and get moving together. The silliness of just coming together so early uh, and getting a practice done before we go out the door to work. And if you haven't heard about the yoga club, oh my goodness, I'll put a link in the comments below so you can go check it out. Basically, it's a group of us who meet online and I teach two live yoga classes a week. And as we meet online, I can see you if you'd like me to see you. You can always hide yourself too. So that way I can watch your form as you practice. We can ask real-time questions and get real-time feedback so that it's not like you're practicing all alone and you're wondering, hmm, am I even doing this right? <laughs> but I'm right there to help you out. And each month has a specific goal in mind. So for September, we're opening the hips. And we're getting not only the achiness and the tightness out of the hips, but we're really noticing the fall season. And as we transition into it, what's most helpful to have on hand to be ready for what's coming up, otherwise known as the holidays and back to school. <laughs> so the hip openers, what they can do is calm and soothe the nervous system keeping us grounded, our head level as chaos starts to reign with these new routines that come as the weather changes. And then also it helps with creativity. So if you're looking for that creative spark to create new systems for just your family in general so that life will go more smoothly, or if you're very on top of it, Christmas presents, holiday presents, or even holiday cards, holy moly. <laughs> <laughs> I, I really respect that. I'm always a little bit later on that. So nonetheless, this can help you with that creativity if you choose to go that path. Go ahead and join me. We're going to come into the pose that I wanted to share with you. So when you wake up in the morning, let's say you're just feeling really tight and stiff and achy in the back, you can start on all fours in table position. And on the exhale, just round the spine, the belly draws in. And the inhale, you open the chest, you roll to the bones of the sky. And go back and forth, inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the nose. We'll do one more. This is great for a gentle wake up to the spine. It's wonderful for releasing tight backs, especially lower back. And inhaling. And then table. Now from table, table, we'll make it very sweet. You're gonna take your right leg and swing it forward in between your hands. Make sure you wiggle your left leg back enough so that that knee is way behind your hip. The toes curled under for balance and then hands to the right thigh. Good. Press that right hand down into the thigh and lengthen up through the left side from left ribs to fingertips. And on the exhale, gently twist elbow across thigh and you stack the hands one on top of the other so it's a variation on our revolved side angle pose and you take it gently it doesn't have to be too deep at all it's first thing in the morning you're just doing this to get that achiness that stiffness out of the spine the hips to get to your tummy nice and happy now on the last two breaths here let's do a little trick where you interlace your fingers press down more through the upper part of the hand and gently twist those right ribs towards the left leg. <laughs> Good work. On the inhale, you're gonna slowly unwind, hands to floor, and slide that knee back. Okay, left leg comes forward. The right toes are curled under and you wiggle the knee back just enough so that you can feel a little bit of opening on the front of the right thigh. Left foot presses down, right knee anchors, and you isometrically draw foot and knee towards each other. Hands to thigh. And you take that time setting the foundation so that we feel a little more stable when we come upright and not so wobbly. Left hand presses down, right arm extends up. And here we go. On your exhale, twist those right ribs towards left leg. The hands stack. Now here you might be able to notice that I'm really spreading my back right toes. 
I'm keeping my right heel pointing to the sky because if I let that heel roll out, I'll lose balance and my hip flexors won't feel good. So I spread my toes, I hug the outer right shin in towards the midline. We'll interlace the fingers here, pressing the tops of the palms down and gently twisting. Ah. On the inhale, look to the floor, unwind the torso, hands come down, and you can slowly come out of the pose any way you choose. And that's it. Something nice and simple to get you jump-started for the day, get the energy boosted, the just fogginess and fatigue that sometimes comes over our body and our brain when we wake up. <laughs> and that's it. Thank you for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful Tuesday, and I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye, guys. <laughs>